Thank you, uh, Martin. Uh, thank you very much uh, for very kind introduction to me. This is uh, just the uh, first time to attend uh, this uh, wonderful club. Last month, or uh, December, I forgot, I was also invited to the same club, Japanese uh, writers club in Tokyo. But uh, this is the first time to attend this uh, foreign writers club in Tokyo. So, I would say first, thank you very much uh, for your kind uh, invitation to attend this meeting. So, the uh, last uh, uh, October 6, I had a wonderful, very surprise news the, from Stockholm that is indicating I received the Nobel Prize in chemistry. So after that, I spent very, very hectic time, very busy time. <laughs> so not only uh, to give a lecture, the Nobel lecture at uh, Stockholm, and uh, I have to attend a lot of uh, this, uh, such a lecture meeting, or, uh, or I also I have to have uh, uh, attend uh, this kind of dinner. That is, uh, I like very much to eat uh, dinner, but uh, <laughs> uh, I can, for my case, it is not so difficult to discuss our chemistry in English. But uh, sometimes I cannot understand what your foreigner want to know. So if you have uh, some question, would you please give me your question clearly and slowly? <laughs> <laughs> First, uh, as I, uh, that is 25 minutes. The, uh, as I uh, told you, I received the very uh, wonderful news from Stockholm, the uh, uh, October 6th. Then I uh, went to the, after that, I also had a very big news. That is, I received the uh, very beautiful high class of order of Japan, that is, uh, order of uh, literature from our uh, the emperors in the, the place in Tokyo. So anyway, this is the first time, of course, for myself to have uh, such a wonderful uh, uh, price and order the, in the, within the one week. But anyway, of course, I'm very happy. But uh, after the, that I, of course, I attend the, to attend the uh, Nobel uh, the, uh, celebration at Stockholm. I received such a Nobel Prize in Chemistry from the Swedish king. Then I also attended this uh, wonderful banquet, the, sponsored by the Nobel Foundation and the, sponsored by the, the king, the Swedish king. All the, what that is really very wonderful. But uh, anyway, the, I'm very happy I told you to receive the uh, uh, Nobel Prize, but this time I had a very sad story. That is my uh, the former the supervisor structure, the uh, professor, Professor Herbert C. Brown in Purdue University in the United States. And his wife, Sarah, the boss, uh, passed away a couple years back. So that is the only one thing I feel very sad. If both of them are uh, still in uh, Indiana, I'll be it immediately after I came back from Stockholm to the boss. I received such a note that. But anyway, my chemistry just uh, started uh, uh, the, uh, in Padu University to run the uh, organo brown chemistry. But uh, today, I don't want to tell you our chemistry because that, is, that should be almost useless for you. <laughs> so, but uh, fortunately, you may know our reaction 
I never say, but then recently many people say that is a Suzuki coupling reaction. That is by such a reaction, many industries use the, uh, such a reaction in the production of the uh, materials. For example, the uh, last uh, July, maybe, last year in July, I visited my home doctor. But he said, doctor said, little bit, uh, blood pressure is a little high. So you have to, it's, he recommended me to take, uh, you know, anti-anti, uh, anti, uh, anti hypertensive, the, the down the blood pressure. So I visit the uh, uh, pharmacy. Pharmacist said, looking at the, such a manuscript, the pharmacist said, oh, this product is made by your Suzuki company. <laughs> that is made by milk company in the United States. But not only the milk company, they are recently the president of uh, Novartis in, the, uh, uh, in the Switzerland visited me uh, to, to say, and uh, she says, this Novartis company also produced a very effective uh, hypertensive, uh, anti-hypertensive chemicals. I forgot the name. But uh, according to the explanation of uh, the patient, so such a company, they made uh, such uh, chemicals. In Japan, 3.5 million Japanese people use it. In all of the uh, world, uh, 22 million. So many people use the, uh, such a, uh, you know, the uh, hypertensive, the, anti-hypertensive chemicals made by pharmaceutical companies. Not only is there such a in, in the medicinal companies, many the uh, other companies use also the company reaction for produce the, their product. For example, they produce the many of uh, liquid crystal or uh, organic EL that is all uh, effective Many industries want to use uh, such a chemicals by using our uh, those companies. So I even I told in the uh, Stockholm at my uh, Nobel lecture at the end of my talk I said I don't have any patent, so you can use as much as you want. That is just free. Many people said that is wonderful. <laughs> so anyway. That is uh, just a piece to talk my chemistry. But uh, according to our administration, university, uh, our Hokkaido University administration office uh, tell me, they, uh, we had uh, some uh, requests from your company. So according to such a request, how do you think about the, uh, the training of young Japanese scientists or engineers. And uh, also, the, for such a question, I just think, of course, maybe, as you may know, before, about 150 years ago, Japan would not have any modern government. We had a you know, samurai group, Tokugawa group, they don't have uh, any modern system of, of uh, education and such. But about 130 uh, years ago, our modern Japanese government they, uh, decided the uh, order of education. That is, uh, at that time, the, uh, such a Japanese Meiji government considered. In Japan, we have, uh, we need many help from other countries. In our case, in Hokkaido University, Sapporo, the, our government at that time asked the help of Hokkaido University from American the, uh, professors, American universities. So, for example, among such a, we 
invited many of American professors, among them Professor William S. Clark, who used to be the president of uh, Massachusetts Agricultural College. So he came to Sapporo. He only stayed almost near one year, but even though the William S. Clark is uh, very famous in Japan, not only the, our university students, most of all of the young people in Japan, they know about the Professor William S. Clark. Because he, of course, uh, he gave us uh, many science, including chemistry, for the, our students in Sapporo. Not only that, they emphasize importance of uh, their uh, uh, Christianity, uh, uh, Christian. So, at that time, of course, we don't have any Christian in, in the Hokkaido University student. But when the Professor Clark left the Sapporo, about a majority of the students became Christian. So, anyway, the uh, Clark, William S. Clark is very famous in Japan. But, uh, so, we learned many science, not only the the pressure of American, the British, the German, the French, and so many the uh, active pressure came to Japan to teach the uh, major for Japanese students. But I think uh, at this moment, the people say, if we keep the present uh, status in Japan, Japanese is not a uh, top class of country. Japan is not top class of uh, uh, country. But even though we are getting to some high level, but when we keep the, such a position in the future, I think we, our government considers the importance of science and technology and education like uh, all the major <laughs> government consider. If they forget about it, maybe Japan is the uh, power of Japan is going down. So of course, that is non not only the support of the economy, the, uh, but also we need one consideration and one uh, support for such a science and technology. Without such a consideration, Japan, I'm sure Japan is just going down. The, this time, when I received the Nobel Prize, I was invited to see the uh, President, Prime Minister of Japan, the Mr. Khan, in, the, in Tokyo. At that time, the, he asked me how they think about the, our country, about science and te technology. I told such the same thing. So we need the, our new government people to support the <coughs> science and the technology and also in education. That is not only the money support, but also one thinking about such a thing. But fortunately, recently the, the press people told me they are, you know, supporting money for science or uh, education just going down. But uh, this year, the government decided to just flat. So uh, I think uh, one week or ten days ago, I met against uh, Mr. Andrea, Mr. The Khan <coughs> at the, the government. So I say thank you very much. Uh, the, Mr. the Prime Minister, but next, uh, next year, I hope you, our pride to support the science and the education should be going up. So he said, uh, I will try, but uh, I hope next year uh, they support uh, such a uh, money support for science. But uh, recently some people say in Japan, Young people, 
they never want to go to that country to learn the, uh, you know, the knowledge. When I was uh, young, many people want to go other country to learn the uh, science and literature, the social science and so on, but recently not. So that is very bad because, of course, as you know, in Japan, we don't have uh, any the resources. We don't have uh, any petroleum, almost 100%. When I was a student, 0. The, uh, 4 percent the, we produce uh, petroleum in Japan. That is 99.6 percent imported from other countries. And also, we, we had a uh, coal mining, but that coal mining is uh, located so deep under the ground. So most of the coal also imported from other countries. Consequently, only way for Japan to keep our position is the we learn science and technology to make a new the product by effective, very nice such a product by our knowledge and the tech, their, uh, science and the technology. That is the only way Japan keep our position at the present position. So in such a moment, I always say to the student, you have to make a chance to visit other country. Of course, you can learn, you can learn your major, like chemistry in Japan. At this moment, according to my opinion, our, the level of chemistry in Japan is not so low, or rather high level. So you can learn, the student can learn the chemistry in Japan in little bit high level of chemistry. But when you visit other country, not only the, the United States, the Germany, the France, and the, uh, Britain, and the Netherlands, and the Sweden, the, the other Norway, so many uh, countries, you may have a chance to visit because you may have many merit. One is you can learn your major in such a other country. <coughs> but in such a case, by their foreign languages. Why you go to the United States to learn the chemistry? You have to discuss chemistry. You cannot speak chemistry in Japanese. No, you have to learn the English. That is one merit. You can learn the chemistry, you can learn the English, and also you can find many friends there. And also you can understand the foreigner, how the, this they are considering the everything. That is, seeking is a little bit di the different with Japanese. Because in Japan, we can understand almost completely without any, the, uh, uh, any so much discussion in Japanese. But for discussed with foreigner, that is impossible. So you have to explain. So clearly and, uh, you know, so, so precisely. In such a meaning, the, you have many the advantages when you visit the country. So in such a meaning, I uh, always say to young students, you have to make a chance to visit the country. So uh, that is almost time. I think <laughs> So I'm sorry, uh, I cannot tell you the, uh, not so, that is uh, just indicating in some uh, topics, it means uh, Japanese, but uh, I think it's almost time to stop my talk. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>